Hey folks, it's Daniel. Long time no see. And uh, it's spring break. So I'm just out on campus chilling. As you can see, we've got beautiful weather outside. It's been pretty warm recently. Just as of two weeks ago, there was a ton of snow on the ground and we actually had a few blizzards. But now it's like this. And even yesterday it was, uh, it got up to a high of, I think 14 degrees Celsius or something like that. So yeah, it's really nice outside. And it's really nice having campus all to myself. I haven't really, you know, for spring break, a lot of my friends went out. I decided to stay on campus because I had an interview just today actually. Um, my last dental school interview. And so I had to prepare for that as best I could. And what else? I mean, yeah, I have a lot to do over this break. Yeah, I don't know whether I mentioned it, but there's actually construction going on on campus. It started, I think, last year, last school year, and it's continued on until now, pretty much. So they're almost done. I don't know whether I can really access it, but I'll show you guys. The student union has been pretty much renovated. So you go take a look here. This is what the site is looking like. So right there is Holden Hall. Right there are the quads, four quads, right? Where I live. And right there in front of us, this whole area, including the renovation, is a student union. Wow. It's actually colder out here than I expected. Woo! Right now what they have is basically we've got you can go through. I don't think the entrance is open right now, but you just go down this path and there's our I guess they built an amphitheater or I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it looks like those are seats or something. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what they're trying to do there. And here it is. I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. Modern, right? And right, if you look right through, that's a bookstore. Um, it's hard to see, but like, I don't think I'm. I don't think I can go in. But like, I don't know whether you can see that. But the bookstore, the bookstore is around the right. Usually it's locked here, so I'm. Whoo, it's open. Well, what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? It was open. I tried last weekend. It was closed. So that's new. Okay, there we go. So this is kind of a look. It still has that new building smell. And right there is a bookstore. Yeah, so that's how this place is looking. It's pretty cool. I really, I really like it, um, to be honest. Now, look, they also have a pool table there. You can see that. Though it hasn't really been unwrapped, but it's new. And, yeah. You know what's so confusing to me? I don't know why, but there's this whole, like, counter and sink here. And it's just here. I don't understand why. It's like, it looks like a showroom, like literally, look at it. There's the carpet, right? And then, just a sink and a counter. <laughs> I don't really get it, <laughs> surely there must be some reason. And uh, right behind me, like so, besides the counter, there's also sort of a cavity, right? As you can tell. And I think they're gonna stick some fridges in there? Maybe? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Uh, and then here to the left is, yeah, so directly behind me, you can see there's the stairs up. So th these are the stairs I use to access down, to, to, to come here, pretty much. As well as an elevator, which is functional right now, as well. I don't think anyone's really used it, but I have. <laughs> so, because I was really interested in this place. So, you know, I think, though, although this place is still really nice, and you know, look, there's a lot of places here that have not really opened up yet. Like, it's just, oh, I think these are for fireplaces, which have not been put in yet. I think, I'm not really sure. 
And then obviously there's a lot of empty rooms that haven't really been furnished or anything like that. But, um, you know, on the whole, this place is, uh, this place is really nice. It's really nice. But, they need to fix their Wi-Fi. Because, like, if the Wi-Fi was working, I'd be studying down here. Over the library, over any other building. Like, this is really nice and really new. But, yeah, it's not, it's not, the Wi-Fi is not really working. And the LTE is not great here either because it's a basement. So, yeah, they need to do something about that. I don't think it was great planning on their part, or maybe they did plan for it and they just didn't really care. Or maybe they're gonna address it somehow in the future. I don't know. I would like to know, but I'm graduating. Like, this is my last semester here on campus, so not gonna work out. So, you know, like, if you really look at the design, though, look at that. Oh my gosh, I just realized there's a lot of fingerprints on my camera, sorry. But, yeah, I mean, the lighting is nice. There's just this wide open space that you can do anything with. So, uh, you know, I wish if I was here one more year, like, that I could use this place a lot. But, eh, it is what it is. Ooh, I just realized, look at this. Table tennis table. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> table tennis table. <laughs> just call it ping pong table, good. Goodness sake, man. <laughs> table tennis table, but yeah, so that's coming in too. Oh, yeah, so I don't have to go all the way to uh, the fitness center as I showed before. I don't have to go there every time to play ping pong now, I guess. That's kind of good, but I mean, it's nice to play at the fitness center too because you can just go and work out right afterwards, right after you play ping pong to warm up your body and get the blood flowing. So, eh, yeah, that's how it is. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've inadvertently taken you guys through a look of this new building. I wasn't really planning to, um, but I just, like, wanted to have a break and create a new video for you guys because I haven't really cr been creating and posting many videos as of late. So, yeah, I mean, as I said, this today was my last interview, dental school interview, at least for the perceivable future, um, because like it's already March, and I don't really think any other dental schools are going to be offering interviews in March. They might, but um, yeah. So basically, I had four interviews, two of which were pre-December and two post-December interviews. So the two schools for pre-December were Temple and UDM in that order, and post-December interviews NYU and USC so USC was the one I just finished today it was really interesting because the style of USC the learning style is totally different it's a uh, problem-based learning so everything is done based on cases and you learn in groups um, so yeah it was really interesting definitely new experience and I'm grateful to all the dental schools in particular though I really would love to get into NYU and USC um, you know, for like UDM, you know, I got rejected and Temple, I'm still on the wait list. So I'm not really expecting much from them. I mean, who knows, right? But right now, like I really would love to get into NYU and USC because both are amazing schools um, and both have things that I'm incredibly interested in. So um, yeah, I mean, all that's left is just to play the waiting game and obviously that's that sucks <laughs> but but it is the way it is i mean that's the process um thank god though the wait is not over a month because for pre-december interviews you have to wait for like i mean you have to wait until decision day which is december 1st so depending on when you did your interview like i think my first interview was sometime in november so i had to wait I think like a few, a month or, I, I don't know. I had to wait a long time and that was excruciating for me. Uh, especially when, you know, your life, your career, your whole future is pretty much on the line and you've put it, put everything into it, right? And it's just a huge unknown. You don't know what's gonna happen. And yeah, December 1st was not a great day for me. Not gonna lie, but it was a learning experience, right? This is all a learning experience.
don't put too much pressure on yourself to do well. Like, obviously, from a logistics point of view, you want to get in, right? This you want, you only want to take one cycle, of course. But just in your brain, don't think so much about that. Don't think about anything really. Just think about doing your best, showing your best self on that interview, and being happy with all the stuff, all the effort that you've put in to get to where you are now. Just be happy with it and be content. And you know, you can only do what you have done, right? There's nothing more that you can put on the table. Like literally after the interview, um, that's it, right? So don't stress about it too much. I did, I made that mistake. I stressed out so much after, um, you know, not doing well on my first two interviews and wondering where I'd go from there, right? And so basically I was worrying from December, January and part of February until I got my invites from NYU and USC, which, you know, I'm really grateful for because I was given a chance, right? But yeah, I mean, just don't stress it too much. You have like the, the cycle runs from like summer pretty much of to, to March or even April, right, of the following year. So just be patient. Don't stress it, like don't stress out. It's fine, you'll be fine. And even if you don't get in this cycle, there's next cycle. Like it's not a big deal. Obviously you lose out on a lot of money and you're sad because you didn't get in to the schools you wanted to get into, right, obviously. But you just learn and you get better and you grow as a person and you show that growth and you reflect. So, you know, for me, I, I'm really glad that I had all winter break to think, to reflect on what I did wrong in my first two interviews and what to do to fix, like how to fix it. I had a lot of time to just think and, you know, just clarify everything within my mind. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna make another video on this that goes into greater detail on the whole application cycle, uh, especially if I get into any of these dental schools that I talked about, which you know, I'm really praying, like, please, NYU, please, USC, accept me, please. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, if I get in, I will definitely make a video for you guys on what I fixed, what I changed so that I could get in or at least have a better shot, you know, so. Look out for that. In the meantime, um, so as you can see, this is also behind me. You can see there's also rooms here. So like, right now they're empty. Oh! Shoot. Oh, damn. Okay. So <laughs> I just swung this door, not really thinking about it. And oh, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. There is a door stop. Oh, it's up there, that's why. I thought I literally hit the wall. Thank God I didn't. Oh, like if I made a dent in the wall when this place is like not even furnished yet. <laughs> and it's it would be recorded on my YouTube channel too. Like, oh, I'd be so, I wouldn't know what to do. Um, I mean, I'd just probably apologize and whatever, but yeah, I mean, so you can see from here, there's a glass wall here, right, for the room, and then there's also another, you know, the hallway, and then another glass wall to outside. So, like, you get great sunlight here. It's amazing, and I love this place. So as long as we get tables in here, and the Wi-Fi is working, like, this is a place to be, literally. So, yeah, I mean, this video has been really unplanned, uncoordinated, and, I was just too tired. Like, I just wanted to make a video for you guys and I guess talk about my application cycle because it's been a long, tough road and I've experienced a lot of challenges. It has really led me to grow as a person. I'm like straight up, just this is so momentous for me as a person and it's a, an experience I'll never forget. Frankly, I've never really um, failed on such a big stage, you know, with, with such large stakes, you know? So that was an important learning experience 
for the pre like from the pre-December interviews so that I could really hammer home the post-December interviews as best I could. And so, you know, obviously, I'll let you guys know, I'll keep you posted. Um, you better bet I'm making a video of um, getting accepted to NYU or USC. Um, but in, in case it doesn't work out, like, yeah, I mean, there's always next cycle. So I'm not gonna stress it too much. Don't make the same mistake I did. Just learn, grow, be a better person, get more experience, and just have fun, you know? Life is all about, all about just getting more experiences, learning new things. Good or bad, it's just experiences. So there's no harm in learning more. With that, I'm gonna end this video. Thanks for watching um, and look out for more. I hope that I can really get in. So we'll see, we'll see. Thanks for watching, peace.